to make ribs today. And I'm going to show you how I do my ribs. So I've already rinsed them off. I like to rinse my ribs off. So I rinse them with cold water. Then I put them in here. And then, uh, so now I'm going to put all the spices on here. So we're going to start with the bottom. And then we're going to turn it around and do the top. So here I got, so we'll start with some seasoning salt. I'm just gonna, you don't wanna put too, too much of this because it is very salty. So then I'm gonna put, uh, so you can put whatever, you can put whatever you want, any kind of spices, but I'm going to use the maple bacon. Spices here that I've done already. Then I'm going to put some garlic powder. Garlic powder, just simple garlic powder. Or if you want, if you have garlic, you can always just add garlic. Whole garlic. And then I'm going to put oregano. I love oregano. I use it for a lot of things, oregano. And I ran out of my garden oregano. And then I'm going to use my a little bit of a tarragoni. This is the stuff I have from the garden. It's tarragoni. I did it myself. I ground it all up. Just gonna put my hands in there. Rub it all over. And then hold on a minute. Get it back. All right, now we're gonna make our own sauce. Uh, I normally make my own sweet and sour sauce, but I don't have very much ketchup left. But we're gonna use the ketchup that I have. We need going to use this container too so we're going to first and I don't have any brown sugar so instead of brown sugar I'm going to use some Auntie Mama so to make the sweetness so we're going to add a little bit of vinegar to the ketchup you just kind of wing it of how soury you want it to have it just use regular white vinegar and I am going to add some barbecue bold because I don't have enough ketchup so I'm going to add some barbecue bold in it. So you can just make your own sauce kind of to make it liquid to like have a liquid. Just going to add some of that in there. I'm not going to use it all. And then I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. You can really make your own sauce and add some soy sauce. And then I'm going to add some uh, some Auntie Mama, but you can also use some kind of jams. You use uh, different types of jams to do meat, you know. Uh, there's a lot of herbal jams out there. So I'm just gonna make sure it's uh, got enough sweetness, the same amount of sweetness as vinegar, pretty much. So now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shake this all up. the spices on one side of that I'm just gonna rub them in and once I got this on there I'm gonna put some of this and then rub it in and then fold it and then flip it over and do the other side so okay and I put the oven to broil so on the other side where the a lot of fat is on the top of the ribs you can just uh, so now I rub it all in don't worry about getting dirty because Get messy. Wash your hands before you touch the spices again. So now you do the other side. So we're going to start with the oregano. I'm just going to pour it on. And then we're going to put some seasoning salt. And then we're going to put the garlic powder. And then last but not least, we're going to put, well not last but least, but now we're going to put the spices and we're going to put this one on again. But you can do any kind of spices you want. Any spices you got. Some spices are really awesome together. So now, we're going to, oh, we got, oh, for tarragoni, some more tarragoni. 
It, it kind of, tarragoni has a little bit of a sweet flavor too. All right, now we're gonna, now this is all full. And I have the oven on uh, broil right now, so I broil it for a minute and then I, once the oven, then the oven gets quick, hot quicker. So now you're just like kind of petting it because you don't want the spices to run off. And I just had it like sitting like this so you could all see. And then I'll make the video of when it's done. Now I'm going to put it in at 400. I'm going to turn it down from broil to 400 and then I'm going to just put these in there and let them cook for like an hour and then check on them. And the rest I just put on the bottom, the rest of the sauce. Now this should be enough sauce. There's enough sauce. If you keep the lid on, it should cook the whole thing. And if you need to add a little more liquid, you just add a little more water or something. Alright, now it's going to go in the oven. Now it's going to go in the oven and now we get back to our don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you like my videos. Oh, look at that. You can see me twice. You can see me once in the microwave. Hey, <laughs> guys. Sorry I didn't uh, turn the camera on to do this, but uh, um, I cut them all up. Now they've been cooking for about an hour or so, a little bit longer maybe. So now there you can see that there's still a lot of juices down there. And I just cooked them all. I cut them all up because I like all the flavor to be in all of the um, and all of the ribs and then I'm going to add a little more barbecue on top and then put them back in for another half an hour or so on 400 and then all those will be nice and brown and then I'll come back and make another video and then I'll attach all these and and then uh, you'll see my video so I uh, hope you enjoy my ribs and if you try it and you can make whatever you, whatever flavor you want so I just tried them a little bit and it tastes really good already but I want them to be really nice and, uh, yes. All right, God bless. All right, this video is going to be about how to cook rice. So I will show you how to cook rice. So I use a pot like this usually, but this one, someone used a little bit of scratched it down there, but it'll still work. I like the nonstick pots better. So I'm going to show you what I do and how I cook rice. And not everybody knows how to cook rice, so in there and watch my video and you'll know how to cook rice. It's not that hard. So on the back of here it usually tells you how to do it. So if you wanted to feed eight people or whatever make enough like quite a bit make quite a bit. So I'm going to do, do two cups. So you want to rinse it first and I'll tell you up there to rinse it too but I rinse it like two or three times until it's not so white anymore. I do rinse my rice and then uh, the reason uh, you're all, uh, so basically you double so if you put two cups of rice, you would put uh, three and a half cups of water because um, there will be some water in it from, drain from uh, rinsing it. So you'll only need to use uh, like three and a half cups of water instead of four cups of water. So, and that will give you like six, six cups when it's done. Alright, so let's get the water. So since I can't find any of my measuring cups, I'm going to use this cup. So it just matters if you, uh, so I'm going to use one of these cups. As long as you use the same amount of water. I'm going to do two of these cups. Oh. And then I'm going to put it in, uh, in one of these bowls here, right in the sink. Get another cup. All right, here's the other cup. So now we're just gonna end the sink here. We're gonna run, run water on it. Cool water. You want the cool water? And then you just put your hands in there and you rinse it. Make sure that it's enough water in there so you can drain the water off and a lot of the white, like the starch, will be gone. You just like rinse it. And then once you uh, washed it really good, you can do this once or twice or three times, so whatever it makes you feel good. 
All right, so we see how white that is. It's getting rid of some of the starch. So that way rice doesn't get all um, sticky and stuff. So I just drain it that much and then I put my water in again. And I'm just rubbing it around to make it, make it clean. And now, still white. And I'll probably do one more time. So the, the race will sit kind of at the bottom. And you can get most of the water off. So they'll probably be in like, probably like half a cup of water in there. And that's why they suggest when you rinse the rice to only put, to put half a cup less. Actually, that's pretty clear right there. So that water is pretty clear. So we're not going to do it anymore. We just, rinse, we just do this until this. Make sure the rice doesn't fall out. So most of the water's out, like that. And now we're gonna put it in the pot. You can now uh, use a scraper and scrape your, make sure all the rice get in there. So now, so you put in a cup, one of those cups that I had there. And you just do room temperature water. I'm gonna put one and a half. I mean, uh, I'm gonna put three and a half cups. Two, three, and a half. Now you want to put a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of butter or oil. You can put oil, olive oil, if you want. And then you bring it to a boil. And once it's in a boil, you shut the burner off and just leave it on it. And then it'll, it'll cook on its own. All you have to do is bring it to a boil, put the lid on it, bring it to a boil, and turn it off. And that's how you get good rice. Now that's not so hard. I'll, I'll come back when it's done, okay? I'll hold on. Okay, we're gonna put it on the stove now, and then we're gonna, I turned it on a high, and now we're gonna bring it to a boil. I just have to add some salt. You can add whatever you want. Some people add, um, you know, they add uh, peas and stuff, but you wouldn't add that until after. So you just, I just put it off like this. I don't use my salt shaker. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. Well, in this case, we're gonna use margarine. I'm out of butter. I prefer butter, but... And you just put that in there. Stir it a little bit. And bring it to a boil. Now I'm going to put the lid on it. Alright, the lid goes on. Now we wait. Now we wait. It shouldn't take too long. Let's check on the ribs. Let's check on the ribs. I have had them in there since I started doing this. Alright, let's check on these ribs since I put the barbecue sauce on them. I still have it at 400. Oh, see what I mean? Like they're starting to like really, everything's starting to caramelize down there now. You see that? It's gonna be an awesome supper, rice and ribs. Maybe some veggies too. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back when the rice is done and I have it plated. Alright, one more look at the rice. It's starting to see. It's starting to bubble. Give a little stir. You don't want to stir the rice too much. You just want to make sure. Does even it cooks evenly. Make sure it's on your burners evenly. Almost time to turn it off. And then you wait like 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, and then it'll be done. That's how rice is done. Look at that. Almost there now. Almost to a full boil. You wanted to get it to a good boil before um, before you shut it off. You just want to leave it on the burner too, so 
And if you're using one of those uh, gas stoves, then you might want to leave the burner on low. I might just leave this because the oven is on and this is the hot burner for the oven. I might just leave it on there and we'll test it today because no, somebody asked me the other day how to make rice and now I'm going to show you how I always do it. So I put my stove is dirty today. It's like I want it to be a little bit more of a boil than this but now the butter is at least melted so you want to bring it to a good boil. So now it's hot, but it's not boiling correctly yet to it for the lid to be going on. I want it to boil a little more. Like another minute, and then turn it off. And by the time, and then I'll show you how the rice will look when it's done. I'm trying to get the... See the boil. I think now is about the time we turn it off. Let me see. Yeah, now you turn it off. You just turn it off and you don't touch it again. Maybe shake it up a little bit. Make sure it's all even. Alright, one more look at it. Now we're going to turn the burner off off and leave it there and then I'll come I'll get back to you when the rice is done we're just gonna leave it for a bit till stuff's boiling till all the water's gone I'm just gonna leave it on this burner and see if I was right about the first idea I just kind of go with the flow all right God bless y'all and I'll see you when I get back Bye. I should be in like two seconds on this video all right, I'm back, and I want to show you now. I've only waited maybe 10 minutes, and look at this. It's still cooking a little bit, but I think it's pretty much done. Look at that. And now you have the perfect rice. Look at that. That's how you make rice, and that's how easy it is. The trick is you got to wash your rice, and you don't stir it. And that's how you have perfect rice. Alright, now I'm going to plate them. I'm going to check the uh, sausage, I mean, uh, check the uh, ribs and see if they're done. Put the lid back on. Let's check these ribs. See if how they're done. I'm going to put that up and take the lid off for a minute and leave them like that with the lid off. Can you hear that? So I'm just going to move them. Oh! Move them around a little bit. Look at the juices in there. The lighting isn't the best. I need to get some bulbs tomorrow. I gotta put that on my list. Shopping tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a shopping video tomorrow. Ah, oh, these are gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna play them now. Okay, I think they're done. The ribs are done. Ribs and rice. sauce on your rice if you want or you can put some of that sauce on here on your rice just put some of that sauce and rice is in alright let's try this let's try this I'll tell you how it tastes okay I usually pick my ribs right off and eat them but this time I'm just gonna oh if they come right off well, that's perfect Right. 
perfect tenderness in the rice. I'll tell you if it's done. This is awesome. Do you guys want some? Mm. Definitely make that, okay? God bless you. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Bye now.